Hey YouTube, how's it going? What's up? Hope everybody's doing well out there. Hope everybody's doing okay. Well, this is uh, part four on the, let's see, HTML document standards. So we're going to be doing white space right now and indentation. All right, let's get started. Let's first uh, zoom it in. Let's see, wait. Be set, good to go. Okay, HTML document standards, white space. The rest of this lesson will focus on some tools developers use to make code easier to interpret. As the code in, in an HTML file grows, it becomes increasingly difficult to keep track of how elements are related. Programmers use two tools to visualize the relationship between elements, white space and indentation. Both tools take advantage of the fact that the position of the elements in a browser is independent of the amount of white space or indentation in the index.html file. For example, if you wanted to increase the space between two paragraphs on your web page, you would not be able to accomplish this by adding space between the paragraph elements in the index.html file. The browser ignores white space in a HTML file when it renders a web page. So it can be used as a tool to make code easier to follow and to read and follow. What well, makes the example below difficult to read? So body, paragraph, paragraph one. Uh, so this is the text right here. And then this is the pa paragraph tag ending it, and then you open with another paragraph, paragraph two, close and body. So you have to read the entire line to know what elements are present. Compare the examples above to this. Okay, body, paragraph one. So this is more cleaner, because when you first see it, it's just like, okay, there's a body here. It's paragraph one and two and body. This one you gotta see like body, and then paragraph, and then paragraph, like this second one is more organized. Okay, this example is easier to read because each element is on its own line. While the first example required you to read the entire line of code to identify the elements, this example makes it easy to identify the body tag in two paragraphs. A browser renders both examples the same way. Paragraph, paragraph two. In the next exercise, you will learn how to use indentation to help visualize the nested elements. Use white space to make the code more readable by putting each element on its own line. Okay, cool. So, okay, so I'm gonna make this thing. Okay, this says body. So I'm gonna put this here and then the paragraph on the next line and then make this on the next line and then boom so it reads out body h1 the header one then paragraph and body so let's run it sweet got it so what we learned is here how to organize and um why space makes uh, indentation indentation makes HTML documents easier to read. So we just learned how to like make our document more organized from this to that. So it's easier to read for other people to edit and stuff like that or add. Go to next. Indentation. Okay. The second tool web the second tool web developers use to make the structure of code easier to read is indentation. The spaces are inserted using the space and tab bars on your keyboard. The World Wide Web Consortium Consortium or W3C is responsible for maintaining the style standards of HTML. At the time of writing, the W3C recommends to space of indentation when writing HTML code. Although your code will work for, will work exactly 
will work without exactly two spaces. The standard is followed by the major majority of professional web developers. Indentation is used to easily visualize which elements are nested within other elements. So this shows body, paragraph, div, paragraph, div, body. Okay. So body, paragraph, your text here, uh, div, split it. And then this is paragraph two and then div body. In the example above, paragraph one and the div tag are nested inside of the body tag. So they are indented two spaces. The paragraph two element is nested inside of the div tag. So it, it is indented at additional, additional two spaces. Indent the code of the HTML to match the W3 standards. Okay, let's see. So how do we do this? So body h1 div, so we got to indent it. So let's tab and then tab this one and then tab this one. Is that good? And then tab this one. So let's run it. Did you probably indent each element? Okay, each element. Okay, great. So this one. So I didn't indent this one, I don't think. So let's start this over. So body, we could just leave it like that. Keep, keep this, indent this. Div could be under that. Paragraph could be here more. Div could be this way. Body should be back here. Indent the code HTML to match the standards. So let's do it all over again. Let's see. I thought, okay, C space. Let's try that. Oh, uh, actually, let's reset it. Can we reset it? Nice. All right, good. So let's say bodies right here, indent this H1, indent this one. And then indent this one. And then indent this one. And then this could just run it now. There we go. So we indented um, these elements right here. H1, div, paragraph, and then div. So it's more eligible. And you can indent it. Can I use tabs or? Okay. So what we learned, we just learned how to indent. So we just use space and tab on a keyboard. Um, so if you do like one, two, that's two spaces like, and then just put one and then you just go enter. And if you do one tab, it should equal to the same it should equal to the um, to uh, it should equal to the same space. Meaning, if I do two spaces, this is with spacebar one two right here, and then if I try it with tab, it should be two spaces as well. If I just use tab, see, so you could either use tabs or space. It does the same thing, but Tabs are more quicker. Okay, comments. Okay. All right. Comments. HTML files also HTML files also allow you to add comments to your code. Comments begin with uh 
This, these are the greater than the less than signs. Um, exclamation mark minus minus dash dash and end with dash dash arrow. Any character, uh, you know, greater than less than sign. Any characters in between will be ignored by the browser. So this right here is a comment, okay? Because this ends it, this starts it. Including comments in your code is helpful for many reasons. They help you and others understand your code if you decide to come back and review it at a much later date. They will they will allow you to experiment with new code without having to delete old code. Okay. Um, Uh, open comment and then text here, close comment. Then paragraph. The following is a list of my favorite films. In the example, the comma is used to denote that the following text makes up a particular section of the page. So open paragraph, tag test code, paragraph, end. In the example above, a valid HTML element, a paragraph element has been commented out. This practice is useful when there is code you want to experiment with or return in future. Add a comment in the index file. This where should we put it at? This okay, we could just put this right here. Wait. Let's see. So let's just do like um this is a comment. So we could type it out like that. We could go type it out like this. Right here. And we close it, right? That's a comment. Or what we could do is we could do control. Oh, let me type it here so you guys see. It's control. This is for Windows. Control forward slash right here. Right, we hover over it, we highlight it, and then we just hold control and press forward slash. I think on Mac, don't quote me on this, it's command slash. I think it's CMD, I think, forward slash. This is Mac Windows. Okay. So let's comment this. Let's try it. That's a little small little trick. Control forward slash. Bam. There you go. Comments the whole thing. So let's organize it a bit. We could just do um you know what we could do? Watch this, watch this. Let's make them a couple comments of each. This is a comment here, one. This is a comment here too. This is another comment. There we go. That's like individually. But if you highlight before over like we did, oops, like we did here, highlight, we could group it and just make a big old comment. The comment will cover the whole section here, but it looks probably nicer. If it's um, control Y, looks nicer if it's control. So Windows, as Windows and Linux, so Linux, Linux. And this is um, Mac. So we just hover over it. Control, control forward slash this one. Command slash this one. Or, either or. Okay. And then that's it. Bingo. Next. Okay. All right. 
HTML tags. So what we learned there in the last lesson, we learned how to use comments. What's well, control forward slash and typing it out through the, um, we learned how to type it out through a uh, greater than or a less than greater than sign, exclamation mark, dash, dash, and close it with dash, dash, greater than or less than. Okay, stop, stop. No, 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 no. We gotta do this, okay. All right, um, HTML tags. You now know all the basic elements and set up need to structure an HTML page and add different types of content. With the help of the CSS, very soon you'll be creating beautiful websites. While some tags have very, very specific purpose, such as an image video tag, most are used to describe the content that they surround, which help us modify and style our content later. There are seemingly infinite numbers of tags to use, many more than we taught. Knowing when, use, when to use each one is based on how you want to describe the content of HTML. Descriptive, well-chosen tags are one key to high-quality web development. A, a full list of available HTML tags can be found in Mozilla documentation. This is the link. Let's review what you learned this lesson. The document type HTML declaration should always be the first line of code in HTML files. This let the browser know what version HTML to expect. The HTML element will contain all of your HTML code. Information about the web page, like the title, belongs within the head of the page. You can add a title to your web page by using the title element inside of the head. A web page title appears in the browser tab. Anchor tags are used to link to internal pages, external pages, or content on the same page. You can create sections on the web page and jump to them using tags and adding ID to the elements you wish to jump to. Wide space between HTML elements help make code easier to read while not changing how elements appear in the browser. Indentation also helps make code easier to read and makes parent-child relationships visible. Comments are written in HTML uses the following syntax. So, SN greater than sign, exclamation mark, dash s, and then comment your text, dash s. Then you close it with an X. You close it with a great lesson, a greater than sign. Take some time to edit the workspace you created and observe how it changes. All right, guys, that was it. That was the lesson. We finished. From white space indentation comments and tags. Well, actually, it was pretty short. So I was gonna do this, and I was gonna do this part four and then part five. But I guess you know that didn't that wasn't too much long. So here, that was I believe this is closing HTML documents four. So we did it, and um. I hope you guys just stay safe out there and um, make sure you just comment, like, subscribe, and leave some feedback. And yeah, take it easy and keep coding. Yeah.